is up everybody today we are back on minecraft and today we're going to be taking a look at how you guys can get a custom flashing beacon in your world you can see here just what it looks like after you've done, gone ahead and built the little contraption it takes and it's really really incredibly easy to build so to go ahead and build it what you're going to want to go ahead and do is first start off having yourself a normal beacon you can see obviously i have that here and then what i've gone ahead and done is just built a little platform that extends a sticky piston or when extended rather will have a sticky piston that flashes a piece of colored glass right above the beacon so you can see here obviously if I go ahead and I just turn on the sticky piston it's gonna push out the uh, the piston and put the stained glass through the beacon and give me a blue beacon beam and when it's deactivated obviously it's just a normal beacon and so now all we have to do is go ahead and build a little contraption that will keep flashing this uh, this piston on and off and so to do that, what I'm just going to go ahead and do is take four repeaters and I'm going to place them in a circle pattern, just like so, followed by some redstone. So if I go ahead and I put some redstone dust here, just like that. And typically what I like to do is I like to slow it down because when I first go ahead and I activate this, it's going to be way, way too fast. And so typically I'll put one or two ticks on each one of these just to slow it down a little bit, just so it's not too fast. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is just connect this up to my piston. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it like that. And now all I have to do is get this started. So typically what I'll do is I'll just take a lever and I'll flip it and that will get it going. And you can see here now this redstone current will just constantly go in a circle and will slowly activate this piston and flash it into the beacon. And so if I want to speed it up, obviously I can go ahead and do that by, uh, by taking away a couple of the ticks from the repeaters. And I can just keep varying the speed with how fast I want uh, the stained glass to flash into the beacon. Now I'm sure you're wondering, well how do I get multiple colors? Well it's really pretty simple. All you need to do is just do it a couple of times and you just build it up. So you can see there, obviously over there I just built the one. But if I come down in here you can see I actually have a layer of three. So down here on the bottom layer I have one, here I have another, and here I have another. And as they all randomly flash into uh, into the beam, you can see up here on top I get what effectively creates a multicolored beacon that is really, really kind of cool. And it's really, really simple. Now, I'm sure that there are more complicated designs that you could build that would allow you to create maybe a more compact design. But as far as simplicity goes, this is about as simple as it gets. Now, I would obviously recommend that you don't build your contraption or your, uh, your little flashing redstone beacon thing here above ground because it looks kind of gross and kind of hideous if you have it above Above ground but like I said if you have it over here like I have it and you have it underground you'll never even know that that mechanism is down there and obviously if you filled in the ground above this with uh, with some more blocks it would really look uh, really look pretty flush and pretty cool with uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep putting that right in front of my face just wow blinded uh, but obviously if you put it underground it really looks a lot better and uh, and it's really kind of cool and so that's about all that there is for this tutorial if you guys have any questions about how this works feel free to drop that down into the comment section below now one thing that I do want to note is is that when I was doing this originally I like to put um, two blocks between where the redstone is so you can see here obviously I have the redstone on this block here and I have one two blocks between where I start the next layer and that's just because when I did it a different way for whatever reason I was having this piston down here glitch and it would actually lock up for some unknown reason I'm assuming it's a redstone glitch and so if you guys are getting that just go ahead and put a bigger space between your different layers of redstone and uh, it's other than that that's really all that there is for the tutorial like I said if you guys have any questions feel free to drop those down into the comment section I'll be sure to address those if I can and uh, if you guys do use this in your world feel free to tweet me your pictures over on Twitter of how many different colors you guys got going and how awesome it looks in your world because that would be totally awesome and if you guys enjoyed this video please do feel free to drop me a like down below and subscribe for some more Minecraft console content in the future because I will have an absolute massive number of videos coming your guys' way for you guys to enjoy and I think with that said that's about it for me I do appreciate all of you guys watching and I will see all of you guys later with another video. So, peace!